the thought of being able to go outside again is when you're a prisoner for so long. Hello? Hi, is this Bill? Okay, okay. You ready? Let's go. We're not going to stop. In today's episode of Homestead How, I just hit 197 days on the carnivore diet. And I'm going to share with you the incredible story of how I met Bill Knott with behind the scenes footage and never before seen footage uh, all the way up until the point we're at now. It's just incredible what's happened. There's some tears, but there's a lot of smiles and laughs and a happy ending. And you guys are going to want to watch this one till the very end. It's just so emotional and I I don't even know what to say. I just hope that Bill, I just, I just can't wait for Bill to get better. And when he gets better and be able to step out the door, this is such an emotional, an emotional story. And I just, I want people to know this and that carnivore can help. And I want people to see Bill's story and hear Bill's story. And I just can't wait to see Bill walk out the door for the first time. Oh. It's just so emotional. Look at this. This is Bill's favorite spot. Literally, look at this. Beautiful. You can see the mountains. There's a lake down there. There's a creek down there. Bill is going to come here after four years of being trapped in his house. He's going to breathe the fresh air. He's going to look at that. Come on, Bill. Bill, you can do this. Do it, Bill. Do it. You got this. Today we're going to talk about my best friend Bill Knott and this just incredible circumstances that brought us together and uh, I wanted to share this with you. This was on July 4th, 2023. This was a comment that Bill left me. The first time I heard any words from Bill and uh, it, it really touched me and uh, I, I had to get back to him. So here was the comment. Interestingly, he left it on a video I did asking Joe Rogan for help. Uh, to get the word out about carnivore diet, and Bill was asking me for help. I'm not going to read this whole comment, but you're welcome to pause it, uh, but I want to give you some highlights. He said, hi, I'm from Alaska. I just turned 56 last month. I'm morbidly obese. I'm over 700 pounds. I'm basically bedridden. I've had to have a toilet installed next to my bed as I can only walk a couple steps. I know I've reached the end of the line, and if I don't make drastic changes, I won't be in this world much longer. My body is telling me that. My dreams at night are telling me that. Then he goes on to talk about how he lost a bunch of weight a couple of years ago doing a ketogenic diet, but unfortunately he gained it all back. And then he talks about how he used to be much more active in the beautiful wonders of Alaska, hiking, fishing, and doing all of those things, but he hasn't left his house in four years. And his life is now looking through the window in such a beautiful place too that just always uh, really hit me. Alaska is one of the most beautiful places on the planet and he's stuck indoors looking out a window at it. He says, the last several days I've been watching nonstop carnivore diet videos on YouTube and I feel it in my soul like I need to start uh, eating carnivore. Uh, he then goes on to say it's really expensive, meat's expensive in Alaska and he's on a fixed income. And uh, he says he would really like to also possibly document his journey and share it with others on YouTube, but he doesn't know how to do those things and he's not sure if he's going to. Uh, he ends with saying, whether I decide to record my journey or not, I do need to start the carnivore diet if I want to stay on this planet much longer. Take care and God bless everyone. And that was it. And then I immediately responded back to Bill and I told him, do those things. You should start carnivore diet. You could do a YouTube video. The carnivore community is amazing. Uh, I left him my email address. I said, reach out to me. I want to help you. I've been thinking about you. I actually put it on my calendar and every day I would go back in and check this comment. YouTube comments are really unusual that way. Sometimes you put a comment out there, it just goes off into the ether. And unless you're going in there checking it, you're not going to see if there's a response. So I was checking every day, day after day after day to see if Bill would respond to me. And there was nothing. There was no response. It was just crickets. Uh, but I didn't forget about it. I just kept, uh, I kept thinking about it and I kept checking. Until eventually, I got desperate and I decided, you know what? I'm going to just make an entire video dedicated to 700 pound Bill from Alaska. And I'm going to put that in the thumbnail. I don't have a picture of this guy. I've never seen him before. So I'll just put a picture of some random 700 pound guy. 
in the thumbnail. And maybe if this guy's still watching carnivore content, he's watched some of mine, maybe by um, some sheer luck, he will see my video. You're 700 pounds, you left me a comment, and you wanna start the carnivore diet, and I wanna help you. And if I don't make a drastic change, I won't be in this world much longer. Bill from Wasilla, Alaska, if you're watching this, please check out Intentional Carnivore. That man lost over 250 pounds in one year. You can do this, Bill. Bill, I'm, I'm leaving this entire video, I'm dedicating it to you because I want you to do what you're saying in here. You want to start carnivore diet and you want to document it on YouTube. Do those things. What I want to tell you, my friend, is I will help you. And what I want to tell you as well is the carnivore community is amazing. And if you do your video on your YouTube channel, I will do everything in my power to promote it and to get your message out there. After I created that video, I kept checking and checking and checking, hoping Bill would respond. Several hours later, I got an email from him with this picture and it put a huge smile on my face. <sighs> Choked me up a little bit then and it, it, it choking me up a little bit right now. Bill gave me his phone number. I gave Bill my phone number and I said, Bill, I am here for you. I am a man on a mission. Hi, is this Bill? You know, I've been praying and praying for something, like literally praying, like, please let something crazy happen, you know, to, to get me to turn my life around before I die. And so this is it. I mean, if, if you know, when I first initially left my that comment that you read that, that uh, spurred you to do that response video, I was only going to do a few sentences and it somehow turned into a huge, long, uh, you know, I poured my heart out a little bit. Mm hmm. And, you know, good thing I did because you probably wouldn't have responded, you know, if I, if I hadn't have done that. Yeah. So it uh, really feels like a, it was a meant-to-be kind of thing, and I'm, I'm taking notice. I mean, it's, uh, I'm beyond excited. Tough. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be some challenges. Just the one thing I would encourage you to really think about is that, that day you open the door and walk out because that's just such a powerful thing to think about. I get choked up oh, thinking about gosh. it for you. So that's going to be something. I, I'm so Me excited too. for that day for you. I think about it and I cry, so I'm kind of a crier just a little bit. You, Bill, you and I, it's, we have big hearts. We have empathy and big hearts, and we show that emotion, and it's, like you said, it's the truth. It's the truth. We need more of that in the world, so great talking to you. Call me anytime you need anything. I'll God bless you. You too, man. God bless you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Whew. Wow. 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 Come on, Bill. Bill, you can do this. Do it, Bill. Do it. You got this. I posted uh, that video I mentioned and the carnivore community, as they are, amazed me once again. And so much love and so much support for Bill. Carnivores don't cry. That's not true. Carnivores do cry. But Bill and I both teared up and I'm going to tear up again thinking about it right now. Four years, four years that man has been locked in his own home, prisoner to his food. But the story is going to have a beautiful and happy ending. And I want to be there when it happens. When for the first time in four years, Bill opens his front door and walks out into that beautiful Alaskan wilderness. And he's going to have an entire new life ahead of him. Yeah, boy, is that going to be something. Boy, is that going to inspire a lot of people. And boy, am I going to be so happy for Bill when he does that. Please go check out Bill's channel now. There's a link in the description below. Meat in Alaska was expensive, so Bill and I talked and we decided he should do a GoFundMe. And we were thinking it would be great if he could raise $1,200 and buy enough meat to last him maybe a month. And so we put 2,500. We're like, let's just double that and start a GoFundMe and see what'll happen. I then did the video and promoted it and sent people over to Bill's channel. He did his first video and we asked people to donate and it's incredible what happened. The donation started flowing in to a grand total of now, a couple months later, almost $20,000. Unbelievable.
What a blessing the GoFundMe was. The carnivore community was amazing. So Bill has more than enough money to pay for his meat through all of the weight loss, which could take a very long time for him. But I also wanted to get him set up so he could work and earn money himself with YouTube. So he did his first YouTube video and posted it. And to say he was a natural is understating it. And then I said this on my channel. Stop watching Homestead Howe right here. Homestead Howe. And go watch Bill's channel. And please go subscribe to Bill. And please go support Bill. I got to give Bill all the credit here. He's an excellent storyteller, a natural. And everyone just resonated with this man's story. Our goal was to get him to 1,000 subscribers because then he could get monetized. Well, if you look at this screenshot now, he's over 15,000 now. And that first video did 65,000 views. And he's just been killing it on YouTube. And he was able to get monetized in short order, which was an amazing blessing. This whole thing of me meeting Bill, Bill always uses the word providence. And here's another example of that. I was still early in my carnivore journey, but I already decided I want to do this carnivore diet documentary. And I already raised some funds for it. And I spent a bunch of money out of my own pocket. Every penny we raise goes right towards the carnivore diet documentary, but we just spent a whole bunch of it getting our Netflix approved cinema camera. So there wasn't very much money left uh, in our funds to do anything, but I wanted to go film Bill and I talked to Bill and he was interested in having me film him for the documentary. What better story? He was just starting carnivore. And I, I'm, I came to the conclusion, this just isn't gonna be possible. Uh, I was still kind of daydreaming about it and I was looking up prices to Alaska. I was trying to price it all out and then I got a ding on my phone. And it was by far the largest GoFundMe donation I'd ever seen. It was for $2,500. Almost the precise amount I needed going through all my calculations for two people to fly to Alaska to film Bill for about a week, Airbnb, uh, car rental, flight accommodations, everything. It was almost the precise amount. If that isn't Providence, I don't know what is. I immediately and very excitedly called Bill and he used the word again. Carrie, it's Providence. You need to get up here to Alaska and let's start filming this. Go to Alaska? He wants to go to Alaska. All right, we gotta go to Alaska, let's go. And so we helped him out and he got his YouTube channel set up and we set up a GoFundMe because meat in Alaska is really expensive. Yeah, it is. He's like, if I could just get like a quarter cow, half a cow, I could try this for 30 days and see, but it's so much money. So we tried to do a GoFundMe. We were going to raise him 1200 bucks and it went crazy. Everyone online like resonated. This guy has such a good story, big heart, stuck in his house for four years. Everyone started donating. I'm flying out there now and my daughter Emma is, we're flying out there. We're doing a, we're actually doing a documentary on the carnivore diet and he's going to be the first person in the documentary we're going to get his story so, so do you eat fried chicken not oh, fried chicken okay. just because okay. of the bread the breading okay. will give you the carbs okay. but you can have other types of chicken we were just at my sister's house she's been going for 15 days on carnivore all my family's starting it now because uh -huh. you're seeing it but we uh she made uh some buffalo wings in uh in the air fryer so air fryer them. Eat pork chops? No, right. you say we're oh yeah yeah really? okay. bacon. any animal product the, the thing is, uh, beef, butter, bacon, eggs. Okay, beef, and salt. Butter. And salt and water. You gotta get a lot of fat. You eat some sausage. You can have sausage. You gotta be careful because some of it's got sugar and spices, but yeah. people have sausage. Bacon, yeah. you're fine with bacon, but some bacon, they'll put sugar all over it, so you yeah. gotta find the bacon that doesn't. Yeah, sugar's the big killer. My dad died of diabetes. Oh, man, man. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, sugar is really. Hey, I, I'll tell you one thing, though. If you wanna learn more, Go online and look up reversing type 2 diabetes, okay. Dr. Barry. Dr. Barry. There's, you would not believe how many people reverse type 2 diabetes eating wow. this way. Tons of people. That video is what convinced me to do this diet. This is a good doctor that's telling people this. Wow. And there's people that have diabetes their whole life and they're on there like, you saved my life. I did what you said. I reversed my A1C was this and it went to this. And Wow, man. Thanks a lot, buddy. Oh, absolutely. I wish they get the problem. Carnivore diet, yeah. If you look up Dr. Barry Carnivore, it's got all, it's got really We're good your stuff. Channel. I can't really hold That's this. one, we got one. We converted one over. Finally aborting the plane. Change your mind. It's still time.
six minutes away now. This is crazy. So for those of you that don't know, like what the heck is going on? As Emma and I were driving to Bill's house, we were just like, what are we doing? We haven't even known this guy like a month yet. And we're going to this man's house. And it just, uh, it, it seemed right, but I was nervous and we drove over to his house. Okay, okay. You ready? Let's go. We're not gonna stop. Let's just go. Let's just go. The car's still beeping. I don't know why. Are you nervous? I'm nervous. Scary. Oh I got a hug. We got a hug. I, I want to go on the edge of the okay. bed. I should have I should have did this before. Oh my goodness. You guys are here. Uh, hug. Can you believe this is happening? My legs are shaking right now. <laughs> After meeting Bill, which was amazing, uh, we set up our uh, cinema approved camera. And that's not what you're looking at now. This is a secondary camera. I can't show you that footage because it's going to be in the documentary and it needs to be 100% original. The footage we got with Bill and the story we got with Bill is nothing short of amazing. Uh, some of it's heartbreaking, some of it's motivational, some of it's uplifting. It's all the truth. Uh, what I will show you is some reactions from my family who were able to watch it. And then what I'm going to show you after that is some other footage on the B camera uh, that we took exchanging some gifts. That was pretty awesome. This is my awesome daughter, Emma, who came and filmed with me and did a heck of a job. So, again, a lot of the footage I can't show you. Uh, this was Emma watching the footage after we returned from Alaska. Some footage that she didn't see. Uh, we actually asked her to step out so it would be a little more personal with just me and Bill and the camera. And uh, some just really touching story that Bill told us. And this was Emma's reaction. And then we'll show you uh, Jen's reaction watching the same footage as well. Oh. It's just so emotional and I I don't even know what to say. I just hope that Bill, I just, I just can't wait for Bill to get better. And when he gets better and be able to step out the door, this is such an emotional, an emotional story. And I just, I want people to know this and that carnivore can help. And I want people to see Bill's story and hear Bill's story. And I just can't wait to see Bill walk out the door for the first time. Uh, it's just so emotional. Part of the reason I showed this to Jen and the girls was to show them how important this was in the gravity of the situation. It wasn't like dad was just leaving for a week and went off to Alaska to have a great time. Uh, and Bill's story is just amazing. So I look forward to sharing this with everyone and I will in the documentary. So you'll just have to be patient for that. But this was Jen's reaction to uh, Bill's story. Carrie here for the Carnivore Diet Movie, and thank you so much for watching our YouTube videos and listening to our podcasts. It's because of you and your support that we're able to do this Carnivore Diet documentary. We're making great progress, and I'm not going to stop until we reach millions of people. But we still need to raise more funds in order to film this properly to the level needed to get it on one of these big streaming services. So we're asking for your help. If you would, please visit www dot carnivore diet movie dot com and once you're there you can sign up for free to our email newsletter and once a week we'll be sending out updates behind the scenes uh, we'll tell you about new meetups we'll give you special invites and things like that completely free sign up there the other thing you can do at the website is purchase our little portable travel size redmond salt shaker with a keychain holder people have been loving these we offered them on our 24-hour live stream you can purchase these right on the website and every proceed every penny that we get from profit goes right towards the carnivore diet documentary and the other thing we have there are the water bottles and the cutting boards they're completely customizable and you can engrave them Every penny from those goes to support the Carnivore Diet documentary. You can also uh, link on over to the GoFundMe. That's where we'll get the most bang for your buck is there. So please visit www.carnivoredietmovie.com. Thank you. Thanks, Carrie.
Do you think? I wish I was there and you were with me. You're going next time. So I wish I could show that to everybody. That's going to be in the documentary. We can't show it on YouTube. On to some happier news. This is back to the first day Bill and I met, along with Emma, who's uh, managing the other camera, and we exchanged some gifts. And I've never shared this footage with anyone before, so here you'll see it for the first time. I talk too much. This This whole thing is my gift? That whole thing. And then I have one other gift for you. Where's that other thing? Oh, what was it? Are we rolling? We are rolling. I want to get this on camera, too, because this might be fun to put on YouTube or something. Hey, my gift from Carrie. You said you wanted to fly a drone and fly. No way. No way. Seriously? You know what's kind of cool? When I'm looking around here, Bill, I'm like, you could, you could. I'm going to tear up. You could go out the window. Not, not so cool. I'm not, I can't tear up right in the beginning of the video. But you could technically fly that out your window, or when you're feeling better and walk out the door, you can use it. Thank you so Absolutely. much. Absolutely. So that was one thing. Now here's one other you thing. You couldn't have got me anything better. As far as what something I've wanted so bad, I could Thank tell, you. I could tell in your voice that uh, that was something you really wanted in flying, and we'll talk more about that. Uh, wow! Thank you. Here's one other thing, real quick. This is my. I might still need this while we're here, but. Cinco? Oh no! Not what I'm thinking. Those are mics. Yes. So Bill and I were talking earlier. You have a mic on now that I recommended, but they don't ship them to Alaska. So those are cordless mics. Those are excellent. That's my backup, wow. and they recharge themselves. And then that whole box is a charging box itself. Wow. It's a battery and a charger in one. So, Dude, this is too much, the drone in this. Like I said, I couldn't get these sent to Alaska. would not ship to Alaska, which I run into that problem a lot with ordering stuff. Right. Especially tech stuff for components in the batteries that don't, don't ship to Alaska. Wow, thank you so much. Absolutely. I don't want to give you my gifts now. They pale in comparison. No, <laughs> don't worry. Like I said, I'm so blessed. A lot of the stuff I get just to do videos for. Well, I want to do Emma too. I, okay, because she uh, threatened to kidnap Daisy so many yes. times. And this is the best. I wanted to get a really, really nice quality realistic. But I had Jared run all over and he could not. This is the best he could find, but it's still very cute. So this is for Emma. Oh. Aww. This is her own Alaskan kitty. Can you get oh in there? Oh my goodness. Thank you. That's oh, so nice. Little, little kitty forever. beanie baby. Oh. You couldn't have picked Thank a better. You. you couldn't have picked a better one. No one loves cats more yeah. than Emma. You sure. told me that. That's why like, I have to get Thank her. Thank you so really, much. You bet. And for you, my friend. Oh, my fellow nice. prepper in arm. This was my very first. Have you ever heard of... Uh, Spyderco. No. Spyderco knives. These are the best knives I've ever, never ever found in my life. But this was my very first Spyderco. I love this knife. This oh, is my look very at that. first, my very first Spyderco. But, and I loved it so much, I bought another one. So I don't, don't feel bad out two of these. But this was my very first knife. I hold it close to my heart, and I want you to have it. Oh, man, thank you, become, you so much. I've become much. to love you and feel you a lot like you're a brother, only after such a short amount of time. Brother from another mother. Look at that. So when you're on the homestead down south and use that, you can think of your buddy in Alaska. That is awesome. Look at the little texture on it. I'll have to show a close-up afterwards. Yeah. Thank you so much. My wife, Jen, was saying, you guys are not leaving there unless... She had an Alaskan sweatshirt when we came here like 10 years ago. And what happened? I was young and... Young and dumb. It. What'd you do? I cut it. And it was she cut the sleeves ready. off for some reason. She thought it would look cool, and my <laughs> she hasn't heard the end of it for years. So Jen's like, "Get me an Alaskan shirt." I got oh, five of these. Nice. I got five of these. One for each of you, and in different colors. And I oh. think you said Jen's favorite color is blue. Yes. So we got her a blue one. Oh, thank you so much. So Emma and I filmed Bill and his family and his brothers and some of Bill's favorite spots in Alaska, and that'll all be in the documentary. Here's some other footage Emma and I took while we were there, and then stay tuned till the end because I got some uh, follow-up stuff I want to show you what's happened in the meantime with Bill. How good it's going, Dude, right? are my eyebrows gone? No, they're right there. I don't feel them. 
Oh, that side's good. Now let me see yours. So Emma and I are actually taking a little plane ride on something like one of these. Just, you guys have seen my minivan. I'm incredibly cheap, so. This is Wilma. You see, we don't wash it because then all the rust will come off. Um, you don't want to cheap out on something like this, but uh, I tried to save a little bit of money and this is actually going to be the plane that we're flying out on today. Uh, we almost had that one right there, that orange one, um, but the, the engine wasn't working right or something. Oh, is that? Look at that plane. Oh, that's a garbage truck. <laughs> Sounded like a plane. I hate this car so much. Okay, bye. Flips the car. That's the stunt. That's the stunt. That's. <laughs> Since returning home from Alaska, Bill has continued on his YouTube journey and he's just been killing it. And here are some of his videos. You can see the progression too. Every video is amazing, better than the last one. Link in the description below for Bill Knott's YouTube channel. Look at the difference from his first video uh, to his most recent video. And he just had his nurses in there. Can't, couldn't get out of bed. Couldn't walk more than a couple steps to my toilet. That's just a couple feet from my bed. Uh, bedridden and hopeless to, this is a night and day difference. It's eight weeks, the incredible changes I've experienced on the carnivore lifestyle, the carnivore way of eating has been miraculous. Um, for those of you who've been with me this whole time, uh, my nurse, my visiting nurse finally came yesterday. I hadn't seen her in months. She, has, she hasn't been there in, in, in a little while. And she immediately, she's just like, oh my goodness. She saw the changes in me because last time she was here, you know, I was 700 plus just depressed uh, and then what she saw yesterday she was like she was really shocked and what did you say about my heart rate that is the lowest it has ever been in the two three years three years three years that i've seen you that is the lowest your heart has ever been yeah that's and incredible. it's in the normal range now it was <sighs> never in the normal range it was always high it's now always it like 110 115 and it's actually yeah, normal it's yeah. normal 68 to 70 is what you but yeah that's great Fabulous, fantastic. Yeah. So what do you think, Joy? How'd the visit go? The visit went very well. I'm very um, happy with what we found today. Your blood pressure seems to be a little bit lower. Your heart rate is definitely lower. Mm -hmm. I can definitely see in your face and stuff that you have lost weight. Your skin tone is a good color. Um, there's You have no skin um, breakdown, which is awesome and your um, mental health seems very good today. Very happy, very upbeat. All right, I like that review. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Good report. Just incredible the results Bill is seeing. He just surpassed day 67 and it's just flying by and all the credit goes 100% to Bill. He decided to do this. I'm glad I played a small part on it and he's always so nice, uh, but he is doing this and he's doing it incredibly well. He just casually said the other day, yeah, I've been kind of fasting and yeah, I kind of do this lion diet version too. I mean, he is just killing it. He's doing things on his own terms, uh, but he's doing a heck of a job. Hearing that report from the nurse, how can you not tear up and get excited for him? So Bill, I know you're going to watch this and everyone else watching this, Go watch the full video over at Bill's channel. That was just a small excerpt. Subscribe to Bill's channel. But Bill, I know you're watching this. I love you. You're my brother. And uh, I just want you to take a deep breath. Look in the little mirror you have and be proud of yourself and be happy. And you got to love yourself because you did this, my friend. And what you're, what you're doing is incredible. And uh, I, I'm so happy to know you. I'm so happy to be friends with you. And I'm so happy that you gave me that Spyderco knife because I can flick it faster than you now. That's a challenge. Here's a couple Here's a couple pictures of the flicks. But this has been uh, Bill and my story so far. It's just incredible. Uh, we're brothers for life. And the big news is, I've already mentioned I'm going to film him when he walks out those doors. Whenever he's ready uh, to call me up, I'm going to come up there and film him again. But in the meantime, in the wintertime, I plan on heading up there again and getting Bill's story middle of his carnivore journey. 
Uh, so we'll have some good documentation for Bill doing the carnivore diet over the course of an entire year. So here's a few more fun clips. Go subscribe to Bill's channel. Give him some love. He's just doing an amazing job. He went from being hopeless to inspiring so many people, supporting himself with his YouTube channel and inspiring people. This, the ripple effect this man has is incredible. And uh, I'm so happy to know him. And I'm so thankful for all of you and all of your support you've given me and Bill. So thank you guys so much. Please share this video if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to Bill and watch a couple more clips here of me with the Spyderco knife. Bill, look what I got here. For those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, my good friend Bill from Alaska, after I visited him last week, gifted me one of his favorite knives, the Spyderco knife, and he challenged me to do the Spyderco flip. That's where you stick your finger in here and you, whoosh, you flip the blade out, and it looks really cool. And of course, Bill can do it on his first try. I've tried it 7,000 times. So thanks for the, the gift, Bill. I really appreciate it. Literally, on my phone, too, I kept recording it. I want to get it on try number one here. Let's see right here. Ready? It's a stupid fly. I'm going to hit the fly with this thing. Just watch. All right, all right, focus. This, this is a lot harder than it looks. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, come on. Go. What do you think of that, Bill? I'm not going to do it two in a row either because I know I'm going to screw it up. Bill, you were right. I had to grip it a little higher, although there was also this. I'm putting more pressure down on this finger. Ha ha ha! Two in a row, Bill! Now I gotta go lefty, right? Oh, Bill! Look what I can do. Now watch this. I don't know if you noticed that, but that's actually my left hand. This is my right hand. You see that? You see that? Every single time. Watch that. You wanna do the thumb? We can do the thumb. You wanna do the thumb on the left hand? We can do the thumb on the left hand. See that, Bill? I got it! I finally got it! Right, Jen? Bill, I don't know you very well. Please don't ever give Carrie anything again. Especially knives or, or weapons? I cannot or... stand him clicking that over and over and over. Are you more sick of me doing this or watching carnivore content nonstop 24 hours a day? Which one, Jen? Okay, thanks, Bill. I appreciate it. Which one, Jen? It. That. Oh, I messed that one up. One more, one more, one more, one more. Boom. Just like that. Spyderco knife. Thank you, Bill Knott. Appreciate it. 